Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley, I'm an exercise physiologist, and today we're gonna to be talking about image issues and how that relates to our health. I also wanna share with you a foot scrub recipe that I made today and use, and I absolutely loved it. All right, so that foot scrub recipe consisted of coconut oil, organic coconut oil. I used a cedarwood oil. This is a very smoky, like woodsy smelling oil. Um, think of like an old church but like in a good way and I also put some organic brown sugar in there moved it in my hands and then scrubbed my feet with it and they felt so smooth afterwards you know if you work out a lot if you're walking around a lot you're gonna have maybe some calluses or dry skin that's something that I had and this is something that I just have to use um, at least on a weekly basis so you can try that out you can put any oils that you like I just prefer those like um, nature or like uh, just woodsy smells in general Okay, so uh, let's get into the topic of the video. Today we're talking about image issues. So I started thinking about this after I had considered getting a Louis Vuitton bag. So let's, let's, let's go back a little bit in time. Um, I've been vegan for about seven years now. Um, I became vegan in the power of suggestions. Somebody said to me, you know, you're already vegetarian. Why don't you just stop eating meat and become vegan? So like, okay, and I did that. And it works really well for me. You know, I eat majority beans, rice, salads, smoothies, soups, um, just colorful foods, fruits and vegetables, minimally processed foods, you know, and I do eat. Uh, and that was one of the problems is that I started eating a lot of um, vegan products that were processed, like the Beyond Meat Burgers and, you know, all these things. And so I came to realize that, you know, vegan doesn't necessarily mean healthy. Okay, so now I consider myself someone who is health conscious, more of like a nutritarian, someone who wants the most nutritious foods out there and not necessarily vegan. Do I eat meat? No, I don't eat meat. I don't eat dairy. I eat vegan on a day-to-day -day basis because I do believe that, you know, fruits and vegetables are the most nutritionally dense foods, but I do eat a little bit of salmon here and there because um, I was dealing with some fatigue and things like that. It started a couple years ago. And so, you know, sometimes I'll go without having it at all. And sometimes I'll have it um, once or twice a week. So it just depends um, on how I feel, but everything else in my life is vegan. Why do I tell you this? So, you know, I feel like a lot of people are looking for image, uh, having an image or an identity in this life um, that kind of coincides with a label. So whether someone's vegan, whether someone has, you know, their pronouns or um, anything else, uh, they identify with a certain group, um, we kind of put that on a pedestal and we kind of make that like our image or, and our idol in a way. And I just found for me, when people ask me if I'm a vegan, I just tell them I'm a health conscious person, you know, that I'm not someone who is, you know, just going to eat vegan for the sake of being vegan, um, but more for health reasons. Okay. So, um, now the Louis Vuitton bag, um, you know, I do use leather products. I went through a period of my life where I didn't at all. Um, and you know, I don't go out of my way to buy leather goods, but if I see something I like and it's leather, I may or may not purchase it depending on if I like it and the cost and all that. So anyway, I was looking at this Louis Vuitton bag that I saw this French model wearing and I thought it was so beautiful. So I went to the store to check it out. And um, I asked the person at the store, you know, this bag was over $2,000 and I asked them, so, you know, is this genuine leather? And they said, actually, no, it's canvas, sustainable canvas, and it's accented with leather. And then I asked them if the zippers and the gold that was on it was real gold. And they said, no, <laughs> but it's, I was like, is it plated in gold? And they said, no. So, and I asked them the quality of the leather too, and they couldn't even really give me like an idea about about that so you know that really made me think about myself and and how I want to be represented and also you know this is a false kind of like a false thing right like it's something that costs so much but it's and it's promising to give us this image or this status in life or whatever oh she has the Louis Vuitton bag and it's really just not real guys it's just totally fake and it doesn't really matter in this life at all so, um, you know, the cost and the value kind of have to go together, in my opinion. Uh, you want to have a healthy mindset and you want to not, like I said, make these things 
um, you know, like your idol in life. You don't want to lust after these things. It could be bags, it could be clothes, it could be a healthy lifestyle even, it could be anything that we're putting above our relationship with God. And that's not something that we want to do because it's not going to satisfy us and it's not going to give us what we need or what we really want in this life. Um, so, you know, through all of this, I started to realize that, you know, the way the world is doing things like we didn't already know, but it kind of solidified it for me that the way the world is doing things does not lead to any type of satisfaction. Maybe like a momentary or like a temporary satisfaction, but it doesn't give us what we're actually looking for is that identity. Okay. That, you know, um, just knowing who we are and what our purpose is and that everything's going to be okay. Right. Um, so is it bad to have these things? If you have the money for it, you know, I guess it's okay if that's your thing, you know, but putting that as your complete and total just confidence in life is not healthy and it's not going to lead to anywhere good. Okay. So, um, we want to thank God for everything we have and strive to live a simple life. I've talked about, talked about this before. We want to live a simple life you know, buy things that we need that are functional for our lives um, and not necessarily to have a certain status. You know, I like to look nice. I like to look clean and presentable. And I do like to look on the outside how I feel on the inside, you know, to accentuate my style. You know, so there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that when we're putting our, our identity in these things and we're kind of trying to make other people envious or, you know, think we're better because of them, it doesn't lead to anything healthy. And I've definitely been there um, before. All right. Getting out of debt is something that I'm proud to say I have done. Um, I got my first credit card when I was about 18 years old and it was a store credit card from a mall. They were like, do you want to sign up? And I said, I can pay later. This is great. Since then, you know, I've learned the bondage that credit can really put people in. And a lot of people have credit cards, so I'm not trying to make you feel guilty or anything like that. But I think taking the steps to get out of debt is really going to alleviate a lot of anxiety and a lot of the things you think you need to have that identity. And this is so simple, like we don't even think about it sometimes, like just because you want to keep up with the Joneses, you know, I don't, I can't think of any other way to say it. Sometimes we don't need that thing or that vacation or, or whatever it is. Sometimes we need to be still, we need to be quiet and we need to seek God and we need to find out what he's trying to tell us. And that's going to make us so much more satisfied than attaining the things and, you know, getting the credit card debt or even if you have the money for it, you know, just accumulating things that we don't necessarily need. You know, um, I heard someone say to me once, if you don't really, really need it or really, really want it, you should definitely not buy it because all these things add up and accumulate and we just have more than what we what we need so i encourage you to get out of debt if you have any credit card debt all right so um, i want to read a couple of scriptures to you that kind of tie in with these ideas today um first john 2 16 for everything in the world the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes and the pride of life comes not from the father but from the world so having this in mind really helps us to, you know, differentiate like what is really going to fulfill us and what is really going to, you know, corrupt us basically. Okay. Um, because we know when the pride of life or any pride comes in that then, then becomes the fall or comes to fall. So then we doubt ourselves and we have to keep up the status and, you know, no human is meant to bear that type of pressure. God is looking to see who really loves him through testing and times of silence and rejection. It's not a Bible verse. It was just kind of like my thoughts on that. So, you know, I've been through a lot of times in my life where I was scared and I didn't know, you know, if God was going to show up or if he was going to help me. And, you know, I went through years and years like that sometimes, but I've learned from it that he was working all the while and that he had plans for my life and still does. So, you know, when we kind of take a back door or we try to go our own way, you know, it's in those times when God is looking and seeing like, who really loves me? Who is really my follower? And it's not a trick and it's not a game, you know, but he really wants to know like who wants to be with him, who wa who really wants to be his kid and, and, you know, just be around, you know, all the good that he has for us. 
Um, so it's part of part of the testing in life. And we all mess up, but we all have every opportunity every single day to, to get it right and to do better. All right, so this is um, a story in the book of Exodus. It's Exodus, um, I think it's chapter 2, 32 through 34. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, Moses went up into the mountain to get direction from God as he was leading the Israelites out of captivity in Egypt. In that time, they built, the Israelites built an idol to worship and they forgot the God who saved them. This story like really resonates with me because I feel like as human beings, we have the propensity to do this over and over and over and it creeps on up on us and we don't realize that we're doing it. You know, I think he went into the mountain for 40 days and they couldn't even wait 40 days. They built an idol out of the things and the jewelry and the things that they had. Um, so, you know, we know as humans, we need to have that. We need to have an idol. We need to have something to look to. We need to have identity. These are all natural and normal things. But the problem is when we're looking for it in the wrong places and they tend to satisfy for the moment and some are, are way more detrimental to our health than others. And as we're going along that, that, that track that we're on in life, sometimes we don't always see that what we've latched onto, what we've chosen as our identity um, that's become our idol or has just become something that is eating us from the inside out, you know, or from the outside in. And, you know, just being aware of the, the, the situations and things in our lives that can be that way or the things that we have. All right. So being um, in control of what our, our uh, lusts are and what we're buying and what we're watching and all the stuff that I've talked to you guys about before. So I did buy some Lululemon bags. Um, I bought a backpack for under $100. And it's got a lot of pockets, a lot of room. It's very functional. I'm gonna use it for my job. I'm gonna use it for the gym. And it was under a hundred bucks, not even a fraction. It was, a, it was so much less than the Louis Vuitton bag. And I understand it's for a different purpose, but this makes me so happy. And it really fits my lifestyle. And I know it's still Lululemon and it's still something that's like, you know, a popular brand. I honestly don't own any Lululemon clothes. I just saw this online and I really liked it and I saw how practical it was and I got it. Uh, I also got a little um, fanny pack as well. You know, if I don't want to carry a lot of stuff, this was like $38. Okay, makes me happy, you know? And I got two things and instead of one, and I don't have to worry about them getting messed up. And I feel like they're the right quality for the price. All right, so um, that's about it for today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope you have some things to think about um, from what I said today. Um, you know, and just getting alone with God is really gonna help you to figure out what you're supposed to do next um, and who you are, no matter what part of your journey that you are on. I'm always here for you. You can leave a comment. You can like this video if you like it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Just real honest information. Um, and we will do this life together. I'll see you guys next week. Have a great rest of your week. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.